What's up guys, Justin here with the RealtimeEssentials.com back, back with another Unity Asset tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're going to check out an asset for Unity that makes applying decals to your scenes really easy. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so in today's video, we're going to check out Easy Decal, which is basically a decal creation asset for Unity. And so at the moment, this asset is contained inside of the Fill Your Toolbox Mega Bundle sale that's going on right now. It's in the second tier. Um, I will link to the video I did about the whole sale in the notes down below, but you can get all of these assets at a significantly discounted price as a part of these, uh, as a part of this bundle. So if you see this in the next nine days or so, um, this is still gonna be on sale, but even if you see it after the fact, so you can still get this after the fact as an individual add-on as well. So if you do a lot of decals, then this could be a great solution for you. And so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna bring this into Unity. So you're just gonna go find Easy Decal in your Package Manager, click on the Download button, and then once it's downloaded, you're gonna click on Import. Then click on OK in order to bring that into your scene. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna bring in this folder right here, this uh, Psycho Forge. And um, there's two options in here. If you go into the Easy Decal folder, the first place you're gonna to wanna to go is this PDF file right here. So this first document is a detailed manual showing you exactly how the add-on works. So you're definitely going to want to review that because there's a lot of useful information in there. So there's also a Discord where you can go in and ask questions if you get stuck on anything. Um, my understanding from what I've heard is that the developer is really responsive. So if you are looking for a little bit of help, then you can definitely get that here as well. So at its core, what this asset does is this allows you to quickly add decals to your scenes. And so the easiest way to do that is going to be to just add a new empty object. So the easiest way to do that is going to be to add a new empty object and then you can just go to the add component function right here and you're going to look for the easy decal script. So it's going to be this first option that pops up. And so if you click in here, what that's going to do is that's going to add an easy decal object that's designed to create decals inside of your scene. So right now this is showing a purple material in here. That's because we haven't told this what material we want this decal to use. But what you can do in order to get started is just come in here to the material folder and there's a number of built-in. There's a number of built-in decals contained inside of this uh, inside of this asset. So we can just take like the apocalyptic graffiti, for example, drag that into your decal material. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rotate this real quick. And then we can take a look of what this creates. So basically what this does is this takes an image file and it applies it to a surface as a decal. So you can see how basically what this is doing is this is taking that image and it's placing it on this wall right here. And so you can also swap out decals really quickly. So for example, if I wanted the bullet hole decal, what I could do is I could just go find this decal right here and I could apply that to this object instead. And so notice what this is doing is this is projecting this bullet hole onto this wall. You can also adjust the scale of the hole that's created or the decal that's created just by entering a new value in the scale boxes in your transform functions. All right, and so note that there's a couple different ways that this can project um, decals onto different surfaces. So I'm gonna let you read the manual for most of this and I'm just gonna talk about the first couple. Um, but there's the plane function, which is going to apply this based on casting it in a direction. Um, there's the box where basically what it's gonna do is it's going to place a decal based on where a bounding box intersects with your object. And then there's a couple more for like a skin box, a deferred, and the screen space. Those are gonna be more performance style things. We're gonna focus on the first two just for this tutorial. You can set the technique for the way this is applied to an object using the technique function right here. All right, so right now, let's use this to project, let's go with maybe one of the dirt functions onto this sphere right here. So I've got an easy decal object set up, and I'm just gonna drag the decal dirt right here. Well, notice how that's not showing up right here. Um, it will show up if you up the resolution of this decal. So again, remember that uh, the higher the resolution, the more, um, the more performance this is going to take up. Um, but for something like this shape, you may need to turn that resolution up a bit in order to get this to, uh, in order to get this to align. But notice what this is doing is this is just casting in a direction 
right? So right now it's just casting straight out from this object and it's applying it to this surface. And by the way, you can set how close this is to this surface by clicking and dragging right here. So you're gonna have to be a little bit careful with this um, on these more complex surfaces. So I'm gonna put this to maybe like a 0.01 or even a 001 in order to get that to apply. So notice how that's casting that in a direction. But an easier way to do this is to set this to the box technique instead. So if you set this to the box technique and move this over, notice how this is gonna apply this wherever this box intersects with this object. So what you can do is you can just drag the box over on top of this object in order to get that effect in here instead of having to project it in a direction and mess around with that. So and like I said, you can play around with the other options that are in there as well. So another cool thing about this is this allows you to manage your decals using atlasing. And atlasing is basically taking all of these different materials and placing them in a single um, image file so that you don't have to do calls back to multiple different files, which is gonna help your performance. So you've got all of these images in here, but then this gives you tools in order to both create those atlases and also use those atlases. And so specifically, we're gonna talk about how to use the atlases for right now. We can get into creating later if you guys are interested in that. But let's say, for example, that I was to take this decal right here. I'm just gonna do an Alt D to move it over. And we're gonna go ahead and scale this up. So we're gonna bring it back to one, one, and one. But then what, what we wanna do is let's select our graffiti again. So notice how these graffitis have multiple different graffiti um, images inside of them. So let's scale this up some more. Let's scale this up to like three, three, just so you can see it. So you've got this in here right now. Well, notice how you're seeing all of the different images that are contained inside of the Atlas file that this is linked to. So if you select the option for Atlas, you can come in here and you can select, like uh, I think this one, we're just on the graffiti right here, but we wanna select this Atlas. Well, this is gonna give you options to control which one of those Atlas files is being selected. Notice how I can click across these like this so you can access any of the areas that were uh, defined in the atlas really quickly. So I'm gonna bring the size back down like this. But basically what that's doing is that's linking back to the atlases that are contained in here. And if you wanna look at these, you can click on it right here and you can see how different regions have been dictated in here. And you can edit the regions by clicking in this little button right here and popping this up. And notice how basically what this has done is for each one of these, it's just dictated a region. So if I click on this, um, for example, I could adjust the size or the location of that region and then apply that. So what you could do is you could create your own atlas of images um, inside of Photoshop or something like that and then select this in order to create your own different atlas locations. So there's a number of different things inside of the manual that you should check out. So they've also got code in here that you can apply to your games that show you exactly how to instance the different objects in here or instantiate the objects. When, like for example, if somebody shoots a gun, you can use this in order to add um, a decal in here. So there's scripts in here for that as well. And again, there's a lot of support on the Discord as well if you have any questions. All right, so I will link both to the fill your toolbox sale and to this individual asset if you're interested in that. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this asset. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Unity content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.